Okay, this is John in Los Angeles. Here we are at the UFO meetup. Um, where are we? Monterey Park, Sequoia Park. Here. Very small. Everybody's seeing something here. Oh, it disappeared. Oh, no, it's okay. They're gonna reappear. I hope. Yeah, it came from here, and it was going, 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 and it's. Did you guys see it? It went into the middle of nowhere. Damn it! You didn't see it? I did. I saw it, and then I moved, and then I lost it. It was very small. Yeah, it went higher and higher and higher. I don't know. I lost. Yeah, it's it's not, it's actually, if it's gonna go, it's gonna be that way. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> did you see it? Tamara, did you see it? Did you see it? No, I didn't. Oh, come on! I was gonna no, interview you. I see it there, but it's like. Oh, but what was it? I don't know. I couldn't really see. It was like twenty-two. It's too close for the. <laughs> oh God! You're killing me. False alarm. Hey man, what's up? <laughs>Hey, this is Jay Lee. Hope all is well. Sometimes they get away. I had this one on my video screen on my telescope for a second, but I lost it. This happens from time to time. I was frustrated because this was a good one. It was flying super high and moving super fast. Definitely faster than a jet airplane. Sometimes if I miss it, sometimes I can recapture it, but not this time. Oh well, we'll catch it next time. Thanks to John Graff for catching this footage. I just wanted to thank everyone for coming to this UFO sighting event on December 30th, 2018 at Sequoia Park, Monterey Park, California. We skipped a meetup in November because of the holidays, so it was fantastic to see everyone in December. It was a gorgeous day at a very beautiful park. I would say that we saw about 12 different objects, so it was pretty exciting. Anyway, let me show you a couple of my favorites this day. Of course you know what we do. We call for them collectively to come to our location, and uh, they show up to our location. It seems to me that the most interesting sightings occurred at the zenith of the sky. We call these neck breakers because they are seen at about 85 to 90 degrees above our heads. Please keep in mind that UFOs may look different from what you expect. UFOs may not look like something you've seen on TV. Also, flying saucers may look like UFOs, but not all UFOs look like flying saucers. For this first one, I spent some time researching this one on the internet and in several stores, including grocery stores, and I can't find it anywhere. I'm not sure what it is, but I do not believe that this is a balloon. I believe that this is an anomaly. I think there are too many indications of imitation to show that this is a reproduction. I captured this one with my telescope. I suspect it was about a mile, mile and a half away. As you can see, it's very colorful and has a couple of sections in it. Notice the blue at the end of the worm tail. The wings on either side of the bulbous thorax seems to be glowing from the inside. Although it wasn't moving fast, this one showed up directly over our heads right after we called for it to come to our location. I know that there's stabilization distortion, but if you look closely, there's a morphing, a transformation that seems to be happening. It seems to be sequencing through a process. First it loses its glowing red wings, then it seems to become pointy on the edges, and then the lower third, or the abdomen, becomes engorged and becomes more red. Then it moves back to normal. Here's another one that I thought was interesting. Again, this one was seen at the zenith and moved very, very slow. It didn't have a tether, which makes it unusual right off the bat. It's another one that came right after we made a collective calling. Nothing shot by it, it just looked a little strange to me. My recommendations is that anything that shows up after you make a calling, record it. Don't let it get by, because you never know what you'll see. So anyway, hope you liked the video. If you liked it, please push that thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. I had a great time hanging out with all my UFO friends. I want to thank Faso Perez for hosting this event, John Graff for providing such great pictures and video for us, and uh, Charles Casey for co-piloting my telescope. So I'm going to leave you with footage captured by John Graff. He's a big anti-chemtrail advocate. We did end up seeing some pretty crazy stuff this day. All right, I'll see you next time. Right. Well, you can see it looks like it looks, looks like an amoeba. <laughs> right. It's got the little uh, hair the uh, follicles. Yeah. Oh my gosh! It looks like I don't it's know. coming from that plane. Oh my gosh! That's pretty wild. Hi, right, this is John in Los Angeles, December thirtieth, two thousand eighteen. 
we got a real beauty here. Look at this turd whistle. And they look like DNA strands. I know. I know. Look at this, guys. We got some serious technology going here. Look at this. You hear all the people from the UFO group that are talking through this thing, but look at this, man.